I recently took the specialised Roubaix Expert on a massive journey down the length of New Zealand. Now before that ride started in July this year, there was a little bit of a debate going. Should I take the Roubaix or the all new Diverge? Now given my journey was mainly on road, the Roubaix won the battle. However, when bike chaser dealer Hampton Cycles offered me the ability to test ride the Diverge Comp, I was intrigued to see how it would compare to the Roubaix. Comparing geometries, there are subtle differences throughout the bike. The main call outs for mine would be a slightly higher bottom bracket on the Diverge, although the all new Diverge has a 5mm lower bottom bracket compared to its predecessor. The Diverge also has a longer wheelbase to manage the slippery conditions of the gravel and a noticeably longer head tube. 33 millimetres in fact when compared to a 54 centimetre Roubaix and Diverge for even more relaxation in the shoulders and neck while smashing the bumps and lumps while off-road. From a riding perspective I felt the handling to be almost identical to the Roubaix. There's subtle stiffness with the frame particularly when out of the saddle and the handling performance is aligned to its racing compatriots such as the Tarmac. Although given the extra weight of the Diverge Comp attributed to the type of carbon fibre being FACT 9R and the components being Shimano 105, a 32mm Roubaix Pro tyre and heavier but more robust Axis Elite wheels, the Diverge did feel a little sluggish when riding in a fast bunch. I guess that's to be expected but specialised do say the Diverge is one bike that does it all but there are strengths and weaknesses when it comes to any bike. The strength of the Diverge really comes down to its off-road capacity. To be up front, I was kind of questioning why someone would ride a Diverge over a Roubaix until I hit the gravel and the dirt. In fact, I wasn't even planning on hitting the dirt tracks, but the Diverge really prompted me, as per the tagline, a fully fledged exploration machine. The Diverge and Roubaix both come with key shock absorbing systems the cobble gobbler seat post in the rear and the future shock spring loaded system at the front of the bike. Interestingly, the Roubaix has some clearance where the seat post connects to the frame, but the Diverge doesn't. No doubt a gravel inspired decision, which also led to a change in the future shock. Both the Roubaix and the Diverge offer three spring loaded options, a soft, medium and hard, although the Diverge springs are a progressive spring, meaning they're a little harder designed more for off-road. Outside of the gearing, where the Diverge offers more of a compact setup in comparison to say a Roubaix, the compelling difference really comes down to the tyre clearance. The Diverge offers 42mm clearance, an increase of 7mm when compared to its older model, and 10mm when you compare it to the new Roubaix. That extra tyre clearance is really the clincher when comparing to the Roubaix. For mine, the Roubaix felt a lot more at home on road, whereas the Diverge was okay on road, and I wouldn't deny it a fast bunch, but where I really enjoyed this bike was off-road. That's where it really felt at home.